I'm Joan Rose. I'm from Michigan State University. I'm a public health water microbiologist. And I've been talking about the water microbiome. You know, all plants, humans, animals, and even water has a microbiome. And we're finding out that these microbes make us healthy. So we want to understand what makes water healthy. There's been so many advances in technology, so now we're going from instruments that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to an instrument that you can hold in your hand that costs a thousand dollars. This instrument can give us information on the water microbiome. And once we have that information, we can produce better diagnostic tools. This means we can understand when a water is sick and what we can do about it to, to correct it. So wastewater reuse has driven a lot of our use of technology because we see a, a direct connection from our wastewater to our drinking water when we um, take on water reclamation programs. But we're putting most of our waste and most of our return flows back into the natural environment. It spreads very quickly um, across the globe once it starts raining, once water starts moving. And so we need to apply these tools not only to wastewater reuse, but to the water cycle, to what we call the one water. That means we have to understand what comes off our land, what comes out of our wastewater treatment plants, what's in our rivers, what's in our estuaries, what's in our lakes. Um, and so we can use these technologies to do that. I'd like to see more um, water researchers uh, work with the water industry on some global initiatives uh, where we use some of the cutting edge science to really explore the water environment. But secondly, I'd like to see the development of these diagnostics and centers around the world where water diagnostics could be used for better decision making. We're going to have to spend a lot of money um, to improve our waterways and improve our health and to meet the SDGs. And so uh, those are um, our key messages. And once we have these things in place, my third message is let's go out and get the samples. Let's start looking at large scale evaluation and assessment of key watersheds that are of interest to us. So for me, what's at the core of sustainability is water quality and water security. And if we focus on that, we're not only going to improve human health, we're going to improve the biohealth of the planet, which means that that influences food security, ecosystem services, and that is what true sustainability is. So I've been part of the water industry for all my career, and I see myself in that engineering profession. I'm now sitting on the board of the International Water Association, and I think that this organization has a very important role to play to support these global initiatives to protect the biohealth of our planet and our water quality. It was uh, amazing to win the Stockholm Water Prize. That prize shines a light globally on our water issues. And this year, um, in accepting the award, I was able to really focus on this issue of water quality and all the new opportunities to really make a difference in people's health. So people say water is life, but I say water quality is health, and we really need to focus on that.